Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We're playing The Sims today. If you don't know what The Sims is, it's pretty much the ultimate life simulator to make anything you want. Let's dive in. Oh, I see the game wants me to play as Keanu Reeves. Nice to meet you too. All right, it's nice that the game gave us a good looking sim right off the bat, but we don't need Keanu good looking. So let's give you some imperfections. Get everything in the center of your face. Perfect. Oh, here we go. Now he's melting. <laughs> in fact, let's keep with this theme. Let's make this guy as like narrow as possible. Ooh. Yeah, you said it, dude. But you know, let's make sure to give him like power shoulders. Here we go. Yeah, just make him. <laughs> yeah, there's a new sheriff in town. Yeehaw. First name I got. Last name McDem shoulders. Come, let us go find our way in the world together. Ah, here we are. What a lovely lot to start our lives in. Looks like our place is right along a jogging path. How unfortunate for them. And what's this across the street? Public restroom. Can I just use this? Oh, hell yeah. Okay, now don't be creepy. You just moved in. Just go in there and use the restroom. Do you feel better now? Do you remember that thing I just said about being creepy? Hanging out between the two restrooms wildly playing on your phone might be that. Okay, you know what? I got an idea. Right over here looks like a popular space to go fishing. Maybe go make some friends. What do you think? Make way. King of the public bathroom is here. Yes, this isn't socially awkward. Friend making 101 right here. Stand too far away. Don't talk to anyone. Okay, while he's off making friends, let's make his house. Let's start with some basic walls. Ah, plain drywall. The decoration of every aspiring serial killer. Go ahead and just put some diagonals. Really make this feel stylish. Okay, perfect. Private. Can be viewed from the park across the street. And now to populate it with the essentials. The toilet. Oh, can I put this down? Toddlers only. But I want to see a grown man sit on this. Alright, fine. Normal toilet. At least it's uncomfortable. We're gonna put that right there in the sunshine so you can start every day right staring at the neighbors. You know, let's creep it up and just put this right next to it. I'm so uncomfortable. These old people just walk can buy. Eyes forward. Don't look at the neighbors. Well, listen, judges, we're not done. Please tell me I can put him in this child bed. Not only can we, but it's got the seal of approval. Uncomfortable for adults. Okay, let's just put this right in the center. Why is it so dark in the middle? Let's spruce it up. Let's see, what kind of lights am I looking for here? There we go. Lights, camera, sleepy time. I'm glad I can put these right over the toilet. Nothing makes your morning constitution more relaxing than a bunch of heavy lights over your head. Okay, I think we're done. Oh, Oh, wait, he needs to eat. Let's just put this outside. Maybe it'll tempt the runners going by. Speaking of outside, let's also take our shower. Put that beautifully street side. Don't worry, neighbors, you'll thank me later. And you know what? Let's give him a hobby, like painting. This just completes the ensemble of the new neighbor. Let's take a quick building break, see how things are going over here. Um, you're doing a great job making friends. Here, let's do this the easy way. See that person way off in the distance? Go introduce yourself. And off he goes. And <laughs> this is how you make friends, right? You run off from like a block away and start waving in their direction. Oh, am I gonna make another friend? Well, why don't you two come back to my place that I haven't even seen yet? Look at them just jauntily go inside. I have to assume as they're walking up, they're just like, oh boy, what is this? Hey everybody, come talk to me over on my child's bed. Well, this is a great start into our serial killer career. Them not looking at him, not talking to him. Oh, looks like one of them had the good sense to leave. Not this guy though, they seem to be having a nice heated argument. <laughs> yes, the old tense funny conversation. That's comfortable for everybody. We're gonna make sure they can start out their differences by removing the door. Really give them a nice comfortable space to hash it all out. Yep. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to think I've been doing conversing all wrong. I don't normally jump into impromptu sit-ups during a conversation, but I can see how that would work out. Well, looks like we made a friend. A friend who doesn't mind being trapped in a house with a dude sleeping with spotlights on him. Well, if this doesn't scream besties, I don't know what does. Mm, that or he's given up based on the face. Just kill him in his sleep. That's the only way out of this. Well, you two did it. You survived the night. How long can these two exist in here before they just completely kill each other? I mean, I'm impressed they made it this long. But you know, when you have the opportunity to get swole, it's really not that bad. Okay, I got an idea. Everyone's getting kind of hungry. So let's go ahead and put a door on this. Ah, uh, yes, that's perfect. And before he escapes, let's lock the door for everyone but me. And now it's time for breakfast. Breakfast <laughs> of peas. <laughs> this guy just sits on the child bed. Hang on, buddy. I'm coming right back. Just kidding. <laughs> All these peas are for me. Yeah. Get in there. Enjoy that delicious meal. Hey, do you want to offer some to your friend? 
never mind. Well, let's bring him back something. Hey, you've already had your peas. That's for the guy over there. See, he needs them. See, you know, you're even thinking about him. <laughs> okay, go in there. Okay, now put the peas down. Stop eating them. There you go. Okay, now let's see if he can enjoy those peas on his own. Oh, is it nap time again? Maybe you'll be hungry later. Well, I know what we can do while we wait. Sir, are you concerned about what you're seeing? I know I would be. I'm telling you, dude, now is the time to run. Oh, hey, he's up. Sitting up. Hmm, he doesn't want to seem to eat his peas. Why won't you let me feed you? Why do you suppose this guy's putting up with this? It's been days now and he's just stuck in here still. He clearly has a phone. You wanna maybe use that phone to call for help? Okay, fine, I'm gonna order us a pizza. Okay, here we go, this should help him eat. Don't try to escape or anything. I guess it's possible he doesn't want me specifically to feed him. Hey, can you come inside and try to feed my friend? Okay, come on, come on, quick, 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 lock the door. No! Damn it, he got away. But don't think you can escape us that easy. You gave me a taste for what I can do now. Oh, you know, I bet he's in my phone book now. I wonder if I can just coax him back over. Oh, his name's Rusty. You'd think I'd know that. Hey, Rusty. How's it going? It's your abductor. Oh, yes. Now, before Rusty shows up, we need to reinforce the house. We can't have him just leaving like it's no big deal. And that's why we're gonna make a little airlock. That's a nice door. It gives it that nice clinical look. Once Rusty is inside, one of these will be locked at all times, so he can't just escape again. Ah, there he is now. Come on in, Rusty. <laughs> and that's when we lock the doors. Oh, that's so cute. Look what Rusty said. I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. And yet, Rusty is still here. Here. Moment after moment after moment. No, it looks like he's all tuckered out. Let's see if we can't mark the occasion. So in The Sims, you can take reference photos and paint based on that. A little something for your family to remember you by. Oh, yes, that picture's really coming together, isn't it? You've really captured the magnificent essence of your victim. Nice work. I call it essence of apathy. Let's see, can we, like, put it up around the house? Oh, God, yes, we can. We'll just put this thing here in Rusty's eye line so he can see it when he wakes up. What do you think? Do you like what you see? I don't think he likes it, but... But I do think we need to capture the moment. <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> ah, another masterpiece. Yes, go to bed, my friend. <laughs> what could possibly happen while you're asleep? Yeah, sure, Rusty. I don't mind if you come and talk to me while I paint. <laughs> the picture of you. What do you think? See, that's you and that's the pizza that you're eating. It's all here in the picture. The only thing that's not there is the resignation behind your eyes. Oh, is it time for bed again already? Sleep well. Excitement awaits when you wake up. Rusty, wake up. I've got a surprise for you. You see, I've been busy while you were sleeping, and I think you'll probably want to see this. Oh, there he is. He's like, uh, what's going on while I was asleep? Well, funny you should ask. He's like, yeah, are you gonna make a skin suit out of me? Rusty, let's give you the grand tour. First, we've got the sleeping collection, and that's, of course, Rusty in various stages of negotiating with the bed. And then we move on here to a more natural Rusty before we see Rusty getting his fitness in. Then move on over here at all that time he spent with his phone not calling his family for help before moving on to what I call the more sensitive side of Rusty, leading up to one of my personal favorites, where Rusty can watch himself crapping while he craps, which brings us to my series of Rusty photos. First, we have Rusty in his natural habitat, and then we have Rusty standing with his picture of Rusty, and then we have Rusty standing in front of his picture of Rusty standing next to Rusty, and then we have the final portrait in the series, Rusty looking at Keanu painting the picture, wondering when the three moon Rusty shirt is coming out. And let's be honest, if I could get this on a four panel canvas in real life, I probably would. And what does Rusty think of this fine artwork? Yeah, I'm sure he likes it. You know, Rusty, I think you and Keanu are starting to really get along. I think he's starting to think of you less as an abductee and more like a roommate. So against my better judgment, I'm going to trust you and I'm going to unlock the door. But I trust that given the options, you'll probably want to stay now. What do you say, Rusty? Do you want to be part of the family? Oh, you traitor. After all those paintings I did of you, you'll be back. I know, buddy. I miss him too. You know what? Let's take this rare opportunity. Leave the house for a little while. Let's head on over to the busy downtown area. See what we've been missing. Ah, just what I needed. More art. You know, this is great and all. But you know, Keanu, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Besides trying to open your eyes at all, do you think we can get our own art in here? Good news. I call it the Rusty Collection. I feel like this is something everyone can enjoy. Truly, this is something that transcends the medium. Wait, can I just put these paintings anywhere. <laughs> I sure can. Welcome to Club Rusty. Ladies, I don't mean to interrupt your conversation. I'm just gonna put this right here for you to enjoy. Here you go, so you can both take a look. No, no, no need to thank me. The moment I did that, all conversation for them just died. That's right, Keanu. <laughs> You've made the world a better place. Let's go spread the love. Onward to right more wrongs. Actually, wait, wait, Keanu, come back. Before we go, one more thing to do. There we go, nice work. A little something for people to look at while they do their business. Can you imagine just going to the restaurant? 
guest room. The first thing you see as you walk in is this. Must be a real upscale place. Okay, now we can get out of here. Now that I know we can display our artwork, we have much work to do. Next stop, the gym. Welcome to Planet Rusty. Hey there, everybody. How's your run going? Are you feeling the burn? Well, I got something that might be able to help you out. Don't worry, everybody. I got you covered. Can you imagine if you were just working out and there's this dude on the other side of the glass just with these pictures? What I'm saying is sign me up because this is my kind of gym. You know, when I realized that we could put these paintings everywhere, I honestly didn't realize it was going to be this good. Here you go, buddy. Have this while you're in the shower. Ah, uh, yes, the rusty experience no matter where you go. And when you're planning your next wedding, please don't forget to consider our beautiful venue, not to mention our state-of-the-art reception hall. Rusty welcomes you. Oh my god, so here I was at this lovely little karaoke bar. You know, just doing my thing. Then who should show up but the man himself? Oh my god, you look just like the picture. Well, let's go talk to him. Uh, hey, Rusty, how's it going? Feeling good? Yeah, that's cool. Uh-huh, yeah, that's a great story. Hey, I have an idea. How about you swing by my house tonight? And Rusty's like, sure, yes, that seems like a good idea. That's what smart people do. Okay, so I think Rusty's coming over again, believe it or not. I gotta find a way to not freak him out. Hmm, I wonder if I should hide all this artwork. We don't want him to feel like someone's watching him. Ah, oh, crap, he's already here. Uh, okay, let's see. What are we gonna do here? Let's show Rusty it can be different this time. Let's take my little airlock and we'll put it right over here. Okay. Hi, Rusty. Place is a little bit different. Don't mind the mess. Hi, Rusty. Come on in. Nothing weird and strange happening in here. I'm just remembering the good times. Rusty's like, haha, that's nice. Okay, well, I'm just gonna leave you to it. Yeah, I'll just be right out here. I'm totally not gonna lock the door or anything. Sorry, Rusty. I'm spent. Let's talk in the morning. I can't tell if Rusty is over there trying to frantically call for help or if he's just playing phone games. Ah, time for another Rusty filled day. So, Rusty, what would you like to do today? You're not calling the cops, are you? You know what? I think I know what I'm doing wrong this time. When you have your very own Rusty, you're supposed to keep them well fed and entertained. I don't think I'm doing any of those things for him. So first, let's get him fed. Good old pizza always does the trick. And just like normal people do, I'm just hanging out on the lawn waiting for my pizza. Oh my god, what is that? The answer to my problems, that's what. Pizza guy, wait here, I'm sure you'll understand. Hello, do I have a proposition for you? I have someone that needs entertaining, and this feels incredibly normal. Hey, pizza guy, do yourself a favor and just don't turn around. Here, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll take that. Oh, and here's a little something so you can just forget everything you saw here. Okay, so here's how this airlock works. For now, this first door is unlocked. Now, once me and the cargo are safely secure, that's when I lock this door for everyone but me, and then I unlock this door. Rusty, I come bearing gifts. Rusty, Rusty. Okay, well, I'm just gonna place this down here and let you guys get acquainted. Well, I'm glad I'm not in there anymore. Just can't imagine what's happening in there. Oh, hello. Who are you and why are you yelling at me? Oh my god, what is happening here? Who are all these random people that keep stopping by? Hey, would you two like to see something? And she's like, <laughs> okay. So this is the gang. That's Rusty and that's... Okay, you all have fun. I gotta get the hell out of here. By the way, the door's locked. Well, we learned something valuable this day, which is that we can run up to random strangers and invite them over. Would you like to be part of the world's worst social experiment? Of course you do, and who wouldn't? This is so easy. And I'm sure they're having a great time in there. A great time. I wonder what I could be doing to make them happier. You know, you're right, Keanu. We gotta get more people. Hopefully, if I just hang out here outside my favorite bathroom, someone will show up. I mean, eventually. And just like that, someone did. And it's the mailman. Get him. Come on in. Okay, I'll be back to check on you never. He's like, <laughs> oh no. How many people do you suppose we can fit in here? I guess there's really only one way to find out, and that's to get more recruits. Oh, you know what? I bet they're hungry in there, huh? Thankfully, they've got their sleeping needs met. Hang tight, friends. Pizza's on the way. Let's temporarily remove this door just until the pizza gets here. Don't don't worry, someone will be along shortly after I do some light construction. Pizza's here and pizza person. Yeah, there we go. I think their food needs are met, but we still need more. So hang on while I recruit a couple more people. Well, turns out you really can get a lot of people in there. And honestly, it seems like everyone's having a pretty good time, except for the times they have to cross the fifth dimension just to get across the room. Well, I guess there's no reason to not just add more people. Let's go ahead and expand the space. There we go. That way we can fit more people. I like how they're reluctant to go over there. Why all the long faces, everyone? I just gave you all these luxuries. Well, at least someone's still happy. Anyway, back to the recruiting. 
Okay, I spent a little time adding some people. Like a couple more people. Okay, like a lot of people. I kind of expanded all the way around to make sure that there's people all over the place. I can't really tell how many people are in here anymore. I think it's something like 200. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Honestly, I'm surprised there's any neighbors left. At this point, I think they're so packed in here that few people have the space to move. And those that do are totally breaking through the walls before returning to their own personal hellscape. I'm impressed, though. These are all people I snatched from the neighborhood. I didn't make any of these people. Not a single one of them. But most importantly, Rusty's still alive and probably has lots of friends now. Although you wouldn't know it by his constantly shifty look. You know, they look a little bored, though. So let's give him some entertainment. Which is to say our boy Keanu here is gonna do a little streaming. Okay, Keanu. Wow, the crowd. Can you imagine tuning into this guy's live cam? And you're like, hey, wait a minute. That's my grandma. She didn't return home like seven months ago. And there's a bunch of my classmates. And they're all grown up now. Like, how soon from this point do you think the police would show up? Wait a minute. Is that Rusty? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I know I've kept you in here a long time, but I didn't realize it was that long. Well, we gotta take advantage of this with the help of an old friend. Hey, Rusty, hold still. I wanna make sure I get your sad eyes right for this painting. I'm sure this is what Rusty was picturing when he became a grandparent, right? Being surrounded by crying strangers as a madman just paints this picture. Well, would you look at that beauty? Oh my god, Rusty, your picture sells for $1,300. Of course sell it for that. This Rusty isn't going anywhere. Hold that pose, Rusty. I don't wanna mess up the resale value. Value. Okay, so I've been at this for a little while now. My muse has been very good to me over the weeks, months, and years. I've been selling amazing pictures like this for God knows how long. Turns out abducting Rusty is like the best thing that I could have ever done for myself. 1.4 million dollars later. What I can tell you is I've been doing this for so long that everybody's old now. I mean, look at these people. Just a room full of geriatrics. I remember you, mailman. You were young once. Whatever, you gotta suffer for art sometimes. And if you're wondering why Keanu looks the same, we all know Keanu doesn't age. But Part of being a rusty cottage industry over here is I've made myself lots of paintings that I sell on the front lawn. We've got new rusty, classic rusty, a rusty for all seasons. Yeah, just try to ignore all the people trying to escape, okay? Don't worry, they've been malnourished for like a generation, it's fine. If you've got the cash, you can take a rusty home of your own. Oh, what the hell was that? I'm sorry, can I help you? Zuri Burke. Burke. Oh, crap. That's Rusty's wife. Oh, she's old too, right? Because they haven't seen each other in like 20 years. Oh, you're looking for her husband, Rusty. Oh, yeah, that Rusty. Uh, I might have seen him. I don't know. Oh, yeah, the Rusty where I made millions of dollars. Yeah, that one. Well, seeing as I robbed you of like 20 years of companionship, I guess I'll let him go. You just wait right here. I'll go get him. Hey, Rusty, I've got some good news. Rusty? Uh-oh. <laughs> Rusty, what happened? But what the hell am I going to tell your wife now. Hey, yeah, so funny story. So he just stepped away to use the bathroom, but I assure you that everything is okay. I'm sure he's getting cleaned up right now. You know, he brought a couple of things over that he, uh, had to pack up in, like, a small container. Hey, how's this? I'm gonna let you take this rusty original home right here. It's our top seller. And I'll just have him give you a call. Bye! Don't forget that one's worth a lot of money. I painted it while he was crapping. You know, like, 30 years ago when he was young. Well, I hope you had fun. I know Rusty did. As did all of these people people in the background here. I'll be sitting here just finishing this little darling, and I'll see you next time.